Hello, Luke Bagka here. I am an artist and now indie game dev currently creating a small point-and-click game called A Weekend Trip. Check the description to wishlist the game on Steam or itch.io. I would like to start by saying sorry that it took so long to get another devlog up. I had to take a really long break in making this game due to personal stuff, but hey, at least the game is now moving along again and will be releasing soon. Now, in this devlog, I will be talking about the art direction I went for the game, why I chose it, and some stray thoughts about it. Firstly, let's talk about me doing the game in pixel art. The main reason I chose to do pixel art is to see whether I can make the game smaller in size. My previous game, although it is much longer to play, was 3 gigabytes worth of storage because it had many backgrounds that were full high definition quality. This time, because the pixel art will have a smaller canvas that would scale well to any size of monitor, my hope is that it would cause the game to be smaller in file size to upload and transfer. I also wanted to try my hand at doing pixel art because I do not normally draw in that style. Though trying it out, pixel art feels both freeing and limiting. Freeing because I don't have to paint in many details, but limiting because of the fact that I can't put much little details without the artwork looking too busy. Though I would like to think I have found the right balance wherein the sprites look distinct, but have enough detail that makes it look unique to my style. For the environments, I went with doing the pixel art using my style of painting in the colors and detail. I want to have a cozy and almost storybook-like quality to the look and feel. At first, I was worried that it might make the game look too blurry, but trying it out myself, I think it works as you can see here. For the character sprites, I did the same rendering as with the environments, however, I made sure to have more distinct lines to them so that they always stand out of the background. I even made sure the colors that the character sprites have are more vibrant than the background colors so that they stand out more as, as well. I will be honest and say I was worried that I would have to animate so many things in this game, but I noticed that careful writing will prevent me from doing too much animation. I also thought of a nice way to do the idle animation of the characters that make them look alive, but without having a very complicated animation. Basically what I did was three frames where it looks like the character is breathing from their chest. So the first frame is their normal sprite, the second frame is their chest area rising one pixel up, then the third frame is their head moving one pixel up, then it resets back to the first frame. I personally think that it looks good, especially since my game is more a chill, cozy game. A simple idle animation like that works. For other types of animation like walking and talking, I took my time to make sure the frames work together even with just a few frames. For example, the walking animation is only just 6 frames but I found a way to make it look more lively when it moves. And that's it for this devlog about the art direction for this game. Again, wishlist the game on Steam and itch if you like what you see. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and until the next one.